Hello guys, so in this video right here, I'm gonna show you using Wingsurf how we can update this themes to be able to make this look better. The way I used Wingsurf in the previous video was slightly incorrect because I didn't select the correct model right here. In Wingsurf, you have the option to select this free model GPT 4.1. So you have 100 credits to use once you sign up a new account in Wingsurf and you will be able to use this GPT 4.1 right here. So equivalent to 100 prompts because you have 25 credits free when you sign up a new account in Wingsurf. I just used the base one cascade, which was 3.5 GPT model. And that's why we ended up not having the correct template. So now we're going to try to use this GPT 4.1. So I just want to shout out to this subscriber right here who mentioned that I need to change the model using the drop down. So as you can see right here, you will be able to select the 3.7 Sonnet or the 3.5 Sonnet. So they will consume more credits but because we know that these models right here are pretty good in terms of hooding. Now we're going to just choose this GPT 4.1 and we will try to prompt this single prompt that we created. So if you want access to this prompt, the link is in the description below, along with the complete tutorial of how we're going to build this directory using the data right here. So here we have all the data of Mosque in Australia. Mosque in Australia listings, here is the data that we took from GFAS Scraper. So this one is very easy to use. So once you selected your niche or your Google Maps business category, so you just need to select that here. So for example, I'm just going to choose mosque and you choose your country and you choose 10,000. It won't consume the 10,000 if it's less than 10,000. So if you just want to grab everything and click on get business data. So in no time, you will see this generated, all your generated business listings here. I started using GFAS Scraper because it's cheaper than OutScraper and it's faster result. But let's proceed from thing Windsurf now. So what you just need to do is copy all this, copy the prompt and open a blank notepad right here and paste the prompt just like that. And you just need to update these theme configurations based on the directory that you are building. So here the folder name, I open my local site here. So I'm using the local sites now. You just need to download this WP so that you will be able to set up multiple WordPress in your local before putting it to the actual server with the domain. So we're going to access the files and we will open this using Greensurf. So here, these are the files and you see this was the theme we created that's currently here in our site. So what I wanted to do, we will create a new folder so we can toggle in the theme. So we will say mosque. So you just need to configure this before you prompt all this to the AI coder that you're going to use. So here we're going to say mosque team windsurf. All right, site title will be the same mosque in Australia. Now the custom post key will be uh, mosque and uh, state taxonomy, still state and the theme name we will just have the same as the folder. So folder shouldn't have the uh, basis. So we'll just do it like that. And uh, directory category, we'll just name it as Lost and Country Australia. Now for the color palettes, this is optional, but if you want to have palettes applied to the teams, set of colors that you want to be applied across your team, you can go to this website called Coolors. And here you can start generating color pal palettes. So it will give you five sets of colors that you can choose. So if you want this, or if you don't want this, you can go ahead to the next set by just pressing space in your keyboard. So just like that. So here you're going to choose the color themes that you want to be applied in your new team. So maybe we can try this because it's almost the same color as our current team. So you just need to copy these five colors right here. So you're going to copy them and paste that in this variable right here. So we'll separate them by comma. So I'm just quickly copy this five. All right. Once you have this, that's all you need to configure. And then as long as you have the data already. So as you know, we already imported this in the last video, a listings for moss in Australia that we scraped. Now we're ready to prompt this copy all this. And now we have the GPT 4.1 set in our windsurf and we're going to paste this whole prompt right here. So for some reason, guys, it's not able to accommodate this whole prompt just like how we are doing it in Klein. So I'm going to split here. I'm not sure how we're going to split this, but let's see. So I think for until here, and we will just prompt this second item after this has been completed. So let's do this now. So I'm just going to send this. So as you can see, it's quick and it generated these four basic files that we need. Now we're going to prompt the next half of this. So hopefully this will be able to fit in the chat box of Windsurf. For some reason, it did not fit everything, but let's see this. Uh, it's not tasting. So I think we're going to have to again split it till here. We just see. So we ended up here in line 23. So let me try this, copy and paste it right here. Still not accommodating. So let's start with the template one. So this is just 
one drawback of using windsurf but anyway let's see that fits let's see now all right so that's done now we go to the template tool and uh, maybe template tree let's see if it's gonna fit no it did not so i'll just split it again until the template tool first is it right here and send that so that's done let's proceed with this last step again let's see if it's gonna accommodate everything it's fun until here so we don't need this last bit because we already have the ACF JSON in the previous video, how we created this. So this one's still not gonna fit, so I'm just gonna cut it till here. Template tree. All right, front page is done. However, we're not able to fit this, so we're gonna try the last bit until here. It's pretty annoying because it's not accommodating large context, so that's the one thing that it should update. So let me see now, still not working. So here, we're gonna cut this until here, till it doesn't fit. So maybe here, that one fits. That's done. And hopefully this last bit will fit until here. So let's paste this. No, it doesn't fit. I'll have this. So I just asked this one first to create the header and footer. Uh, anyway, this is just the last section in our homepage, which is displaying the random 25 mosque. For some reason, most of them is not displaying. It's not. Maybe because of the tab. Let me check to like this one. Remove the tab. So that's done. But we left with this one. So I removed the tabs. I suspecting the tabs here. That's why it's not ac accepting. Oh no, it's not the tab. So something here is not accepting the. Let me do that individually. All right. I think this should be our final ROM. So let's enter this. It seems it completed all our ROMs right here. The only problem is we have to strike them into separate prompts. For some reason, it's not accepting this full chunk of a long prompt right here to create our entire directory, but that's fine. We will see the final result now. So here, we just need to activate the team. So we go to WP Admin, and here in the appearance, let's go to Teams. So this is going to be our team, Mosque Windsurf. Let's activate this. Now it's activated. Let's visit the site. This is look that too bad. Look at this. So look at that. It's loading the state just in one prompt. Oh, look at this. It's not that bad. So let's try to check one of this and the actual content. Wow, it's pretty good. It did an amazing job. So go back and let's go to homepage. We want the popular mosque. Oh, it did not display this properly. Popular mosque around Australia. So it did not achieve that correctly. But let's put the hero section and the logo so we can have a better look. So here we already have that in this asset. So I'm just going to copy this full asset folder and paste it right here. Let's refresh if it's going to load the logo. The logo is there. All right. It's pretty nice. What I can say Northern Territory. Yep. It's loading the city. So let's select Tasmania. And so these are the most available in Tasmania and let's select Victoria. All right. So we have a big list here. It looks great actually. Like the tiling and I think it followed also the palette that we asked from here. And let's see the actual listing. So two of this, it's not actually listing, listing. There should be two, but it's just listing one. And it also has this nice breadcrumbs that's been applied right here. I think overall it looks okay. However, there seems to be some problem that you can't prompt because it's not loading the popular most around Australia, the 25 items. And also when you go inside some states, so look at this banks down, there are four mosques. So when you click that, it's only displaying one. Unfortunately, Windsurf still failed to even were not able to fit this entire prompt in this block right here. Unless you did the steps that I showed you, split into multiple parts. Which is again, a time consuming, although not that bad, but it's able to produce a good design, which we can adapt and still able to fix this JavaScript in just single prompt, which were not working initially in matter models that you have to prompt it again and fix that. But Windsurf got it correctly working. And the design looks clean. As you can see, it's looking good. Although some of the functionality, like this one, it should display the U mosque right here, but it's just displaying one. And overall, the design looks good. It's just that some logic did not follow correctly. But if you're going to use Klein and use GPT 4.1, and there's no doubt this single prompt right here will produce you the directory that you're requesting. So I'll leave the video here and I hope you get some insight. So this single prompt right here, which again, best works if you're going to use root code or Klein, can be found in the description below. Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.